we've been down this road once or twice and we're uh, trying the journey again. We tried it three weeks ago. Second time's a charm, let's hope. We got beautiful weather, no wind, and a full tank of gas. And a great day to travel. I did not. Have a great day. You Thank also. You. Be safe. Welcome to Arizona. Why are we back in Arizona? <laughs> I thought river? we just left Arizona. We did. But we had to hit California just so we could have some more sunshine for a second. <laughs> We're never going to get out of Arizona. Hola, everyone. Hello everybody. Scott and Terry here from Destination Open Road. Welcome back. Or welcome to the show. <laughs> it's always the show. <laughs> well, we thought we were out of Arizona and then all of a sudden we were back in Arizona. We can't seem to get out of Arizona. We're, we're trying hard. Just right on that little tip of it here. We were in California and then we jumped right back in. We came across the river and boom, back in Arizona we were. We're going to do three states and 12 minutes. We are. We are heading to Laughlin, Nevada today. We did this about three weeks ago and we turned around and came back to Arizona to hang out with our friends and have a birthday party and some other stuff. We are now on the official trip north. Going north. Going north. I'm not turning back around. We are not. Hopefully. <laughs> fingers, and go with, fingers crossed. Okay. And go with us on our journey. North. Yeah. Come on along with us. So it'll be a fun trip. You know, if you're going to go into Laughlin and you do need supplies, it's better to go through the side of Bullhead City because there's Walmarts here, Safeways here. Uh, they pretty much have all the stores you really want to go to. It's not they a bad have, road at all. And they have a place that you can get water. Yep. And then for uh, your RV, if you need to dump when you come into this area, the only place that we have found is over here in Laughlin up at the Tropicana Hotel. They have RV parking there and you can dump and get water there. It does There is a fee to it depending on whether you stay there and pay to camp in the parking lot or if you just go for the day. Yep. We are actually heading to the Tropicana now. So a couple reasons that we are coming back into Laughlin uh, one, we are waiting for some packages to come into uh, Tropicana Hotel. We called and they said that that was alright to have some packages delivered uh, as long as we are staying and registered uh, for parking in the parking lot for RVs. And there is a uh, airplane show. What do they call that? Air show? An air show. I've never been to one. <laughs> Yeah, I have not. Well, I have been to an air show when I was really little, but I haven't been to one since then. So that's what we're doing. The air show is on Saturday, and then we'll be heading out of here, providing that we've got our packages. Um, anyways, Bullhead's a nice area. It's got just about every store that you want for resupplying, and it's uh It's pretty daggone bad. big, yeah. yeah. It's a big place. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot bigger than what I uh, envisioned it to be the first time we ever came. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I think it's growing. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't remember uh, some of the places that we're now seeing. If you're coming through Bullhead on 95, the water place that Scotty and I like to stop and get uh, water is going to be right here. It's called Aquarius Oasis. It's this area right here. You just pull up. You do have to have jugs to be able to fill your RV up. You, there's no spigot to uh, do that, but it's good water. And I forget what it cost last time. It was time 25 we were... cents a gallon. Okay. Yeah. It's the only place that we have found besides probably maybe going into Safeway or Walmart, but I have I've not checked that. I don't know if you did. No. We've also gotten propane right here at the, well, Liquor King River Market. Liquor and propane. <laughs> Two of the necessary things. Water, <laughs> liquor, and propane. That's three, I guess. A good uh, cocktail is not bad. Have you all had barbecue?
barbecued whiskey. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have been having little treats out there in Havasu. They have at the Hangar 24, they uh, have barbecued whiskey uh, Bloody Marys. Super good. Super expensive. So I've only had three uh, while we were there two different times. <laughs> uh, super good though. If you uh, like Bloody Mary's, try to find yourself some barbecued whiskey. And really who makes good. It? Uh, I'm not really sure. Scru screwball? Cur curveball. Curveball. Yeah. Curveball makes it and it's really good and I have not been able to find it yeah. anywhere to buy an actual bottle. It's not something that you would, you know, drink straight or uh, I don't know. They do have some other recipes online for the stuff, but it's just super good in a Bloody Mary. So if you like barbecue, you like smoke, um, and you and like you, Bloody Mary, and you like and barbecue and Bloody Marys, you'll it's so good. <laughs> Bex and I had had a couple when we went to dinner the other night, and she fell in love with them too. So, all right, we are almost through Bullhead City here, and we will be in Laughlin, and we'll show you guys that. Laughlin. River looks river. awesome. Yeah, yeah, it does. This is the park I was just talking about. This is a gorgeous park. You can come down here. They've got cabanas uh, that you can sit under. Now, I'm not sure if in the summertime they start charging to go in here or if it's free. I don't know. We do. Uh, we did come up here on the bikes last time, and there's a pay station right down down here, but I'm not sure if that's for the park or not. Community park, and it's, it's really a nice park. You can get right down on the river there. You cannot camp there, though. The only places we have found that you can park are in the casino parking lot. Some charge and some don't. We'll tell you a little bit about that later. There's Scotty's Big Tortuga yeah, the last time we were here. Yeah. I got a hug from that little Tortuga. Yeah. Still have not found in seven years a desert Tortuga. <laughs> we came over to this uh, water park over here, but uh, we didn't quite understand it. It seemed like it might be for residents only of uh, the area. Not sure. We weren't prepared to go play in a no. pool of... Uh... I, I didn't need a shower that bad. <laughs> we rode all, all over these roads. Went all through the housing developments back here. Went along the river. Very interesting. There were um, places where old... I want to say maybe resorts used to be because you know this whole area was really booming back in the day they had a, a ferry which they still have little uh, boats that go back and forth to the other side of the river and take you over to the casino side so it was booming in the in the day and then uh, I don't know what really happened but didn't they say COVID kind of tore things up too? Well, that, but I think some of the older um, places, resorts and stuff, maybe were gone long, long before. Yeah, lots of jet ski rentals and lots of things uh, to see on your bicycle. That's, oh, that yeah. was so much fun riding around on the bike. Yeah. Uh, anyways, we are getting ready to cross the bridge and we will see you guys over at the Tropicana. And we'll be in Nevada. Will be. Three states, <laughs> 12 minutes. Is the border right down the middle of the Colorado? It is. <laughs> Colorado looks a little higher than it was the last oh, time we yeah. were here. Yeah, they're letting it flow. Yeah. This right here is that bridge that you guys saw us cross over on our bikes when we went down the trail over here to the dam. Highly recommend if you have bikes or you want to go for a walk, highly recommend that. Uh, bike route or walking route or jogging whatever way you want to do it great yeah. great path really nice i enjoyed the heck out of that yeah. i didn't even have to do it again i think we will actually welcome to laughlin nevada
All right, well, it doesn't look like the Tropicana parking uh, area is too full up here today. So Scotty went down into the hotel. You have to go in and uh, pay to dump, and then they'll send a security person up to unlock it. He got lucky already in the casino. Yeah. It's usually $5, and she gave it to me for free. And why? Because they were laughing? They were you? laughing. The two ladies were laughing, and I... Uh, I said, well, what a beautiful day to be laughing in such perfect smiles. <laughs> he charmed them. I don't know if it worked, but... <laughs> well, it did. You got a free dump. <laughs> I'm telling you. I Very like that. Very cool. So it's just, uh, you know, parking lot camping. But you can take your chairs out and you can sit outside and stuff. I don't think you can have any type of a fire like a, you know, we have our propane thing. I don't think you can do that. Um, I did say that we were coming and we were going to get some mail here. We will be coming back up here to stay uh, once our friends are, are gone and we know that our mail is actually on the way. We still need to get confirmation. So then we'll be up here and uh, we'll, we'll have to pay for it so we can get our mail. The poor thing about this RV spot is you have to back your rig up. Okay, yeah, they don't make it real easy to do this. This uh, is open. It's not, it wasn't open last time, but it still wouldn't get us up here uh, any closer than just backing up. And then they have this one closed. So not the easiest dump to get into, but it works. We get water down there, dump here. And they have a dumpster here too. Let's see if we're going to get close enough here. Do you want to go? It's right here. No, no, I need to be able to get the, the thing out without falling over. Definitely need that on this hill. Cool. Okay, here we go. I got one under the trailer, too. All right, well, we got our tanks all emptied out. Scotty's outside doing a few things. I am in here. We actually came over to the Pioneer because it's free to park, and we don't want to be at the Tropicana until we absolutely know that our packages are coming. So right when we got here, I put this uh, ham bone... Uh, in some water and started getting it boiling so that I could get the meat off of it. We're gonna have some bean soup tonight. It's gonna be super good. So I just use the 15 bean uh, soup mix. It usually has a little package in here. I got rid of that. There's a quick cook recipe directions on the back here and that's what I'll follow. So if you get this, just follow the directions. You can either soak your beans overnight or you can do the quick. And I feel like the quick is just as good. It is uh, pretty windy out. The winds have picked up. Luckily, we didn't have to drive in that. I've got a nice little area here. We, uh, <laughs> we parked in back where all the containers are. There's Tropicana over there and the Colorado Bell. I'll show you that in a minute. That's closed down over there. But they're remodeling the Pioneer, so all their stuff is back here. Um, you can park way up there in that parking lot, but we decided to do this back here because it's uh, we can take Pumpkin out to go, go do her thing. And there's a nice little walkway over there with uh, dirt. All right, Scotty's peeling me some carrots. I'm trying at least. Oh, 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 I've got some onions and celery already in there. And half the bag of beans. They've been, the beans were in there probably 45 minutes before I stuck everything else in there. The quick cook says about an hour and a half. I cook them way longer than that. Um, but I do, after about 30 minutes to 45 minutes, I put all my uh, veggies in there because it's just such a slow cook. Well, we'll see if yeah, he, he just took off. Yeah, we'll see if he banks again. What are they? C-130. Yeah, that's our entertainment for the day. Yeah. Oh, it's so windy out here, but... He's, oh, gosh, I can't hardly even open my door up. Hang on. Wow. 
that strong. Sorry about the wind noise, everyone, but Woo, that's windy. You tell me if it's, uh, he's banking around. Oh, oh I... no, no, he's, he's no. going out, out. He's... So I know that um, the winds are high today. It's gonna be like 25 miles an hour. And actually that's what it is right now. And they're supposed to last till like five or six. So they're probably no practice, but tomorrow I would think the winds are a lot calmer that since the air show is going on, I would only assume, and I've never been to an air show, that there would be some kind of practicing or and something. Be cool or they're arriving right or here, something. right? Or we could walk down to the waterfront yeah, and go watch yeah, them. Absolutely. Sounds like a lot of fun. And I'll take you and you and you along with me. All right, you guys, we have a different view. <laughs> the wind is so strong right now that it keeps shutting the. Uh, lines here so we uh we got asked to move we didn't follow directions we should have looked at the um rules they're posted we didn't see them we'd been here before nobody said anything to us we were parked opposite way because there were some other rigs that were doing the same thing uh however the sign right there <laughs> states not to park uh sideways so they had us move, which is no big deal. Uh, we had, well, it was kind of a big deal. <laughs> we had everything completely out for a week because that's how long we're staying because we have things we're doing here. Oops, hang on guys, I gotta get you settled. Obviously I'm gonna show you guys my soup. We had to put everything away. I had to take my soup off. I put that in the sink. I had to put everything down. Um, if you're wondering why we have why I have tin foil around my bean soup, the winds are so strong here um, that we have the slides in, and we've got the windows open just because it's so warm, and the wind is keeps shutting off my propane. Um, so Scotty said, put some foil around it this way, and that will stop that. So that's what I did. However, I'm going to. I don't mind my dirty stove top. I, uh, I had a little bit of a boil over because once I put that foil around, it got a little hotter than I expected. So I made some uh, dumpling dough. I'm going to go ahead and put dumpling in here. I know that's kind of weird for having beans, uh, having dumplings with your beans, but I just like it and I don't have any rolls. So I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and do that. It's really simple. It's I let it sit for about 15 minutes so the uh, baking soda can kind of sit up, but it's just uh, two cups of flour and four teaspoons of baking powder and then about a teaspoon of salt. Uh, that depends on if you let, you know, use salt or not. Not so much for me, so I don't have that in there. And then one cup of milk. So I just pinch them off like that drop them in there. I love dumplings. So good. Try to keep them the same same size. They're a little bigger each one. It doesn't really matter. You just want them to you want them to cook evenly. I don't want to pack them. I just want to kind of pinch them off and then put it, drop them in here. You don't want them real packed. You want them to kind of be fluffy in there. Come on, give me a little bit more room. Um, you can look up dumpling. Uh, dumplings online. There's all kinds of recipes. And I just, I like to do this when I don't have any bread because it just gives you a little bit something extra all right now what you want to do is you always want to make sure that you put the lid back on because that's going to steam the top of your dumplings so that they're cooked just like the ones that are the portion that is underneath the the liquid so 15 
These are a little big. These might take about a little over 15 minutes, but typically about 15 minutes. And you want to keep, I just have this on low. I can't move this because that's super hot, but I just have it on, on simmer. That's all I have it on. Just leave it just like that. You don't have to turn it up. I know some people think you got to turn it up to get a boil to cook those. No, just leave them like that. However, I am putting my foil back in because the wind keeps coming up. And I don't want that propane to blow out. It's already done it once. So, do this. It doesn't, uh, doesn't get up underneath the burner there. If you do this with your burner, uh, because of winds, just make sure that you check it every once in a while. Just so that uh, your flame doesn't go out. That's what my problem was, you know, was with that. So, all right, 15 minutes. My lid's a little dirty because I had that boil over, but uh, look at those. They're looking, I can't lift the lid. Don't touch the lid. Don't, don't open it. <laughs> you want that steam in there to cook the top, like I was saying. What are you doing under there? <laughs> What you doing over there, huh? Oh, you tired. Oh, that wind. You tired of the wind? So I look at you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and it's hot here, huh? Is it hot? <laughs> I should have put my ham in there actually before I put my uh dumplings in there but now I've created a little area there that I can get them into uh, let's see all I need to do is just warm that up anyways it's not not you know a big deal if you've never made dumplings uh, they're super easy they're a good way to do some filler if you don't have like bread or something or just, uh, they're just good. They're good in stew. They're great in chicken noodle soup or just veggie soup. All right, that's how I'm serving it tonight. I put a little bit of pepper and a little bit of seasoning just on the uh, dumpling there. In the soup itself, like I said at the beginning, I put no seasonings in there. I only used uh, what was on the ham to begin with, which it was a spiral ham cured and it had the spiral glaze on it so that all went into it super good super easy too <laughs> so rule so rules don't apply to everybody in the parking lot <laughs> see this guy right there so security came over when he parked i don't know he told him something I, I, and I, oh, i'm sorry i didn't know you were videotaping <laughs> I didn't want to give my opinion. <laughs> I might have had to say bad, bad world. But well, the thing is that we, when we pulled in, the, the guy was right here. I even yeah. talked to him. Everything okay? Yeah, I told him inside the thing. Everything okay? So that's three security guards, guys that I talked to because they could obviously see where I was parked. Yeah. And then some guy today <laughs> decides to come and frickin' tell me to unhook and spin around and uh, hook. Which is no big deal, except that we were unhooked. We had all of our stuff out for the week because we're staying for a week. And it was quite the chore. And I had hot soup on the stove that we had to turn off and put in the sink and hopefully not and, splash around. But yeah. there are rules, and there is a rule board. And it is posted, like, right there. So, and there's one on the other side, like I was showing you guys. So, our bad. We should have read the rules. I didn't see him. Scotty didn't see him. So, you know. But we were parking but, for days last time. And yeah. Okay. Right. And then, uh, yeah. So, I don't know what that guy told the security guard. The security guard came out and told him to, he had, couldn't park there. And then the guy gave him a sob story. <laughs> and he, now he gets to stay there. So, anyways. But the parking lot is filling up. So just uh, different rules for different folks, I guess. But you know what? 
it is so loud right there. It is very I mean, loud this, right there. This is definitely quieter um, from where we Yeah, were last, last time we were parked right in front there um, where that other RV is. And as you can see, it's a steady flow of people through that corner there. Although it's a pretty steady flow of people coming through this area too. It's parking, it's, uh, it's RV parking. You, yeah. you just gotta, you, you either have to handle it or don't park here. <laughs> it's parking lot parking at its yeah. finest. Um, the boardwalk ends at the back of this building. That's why they all come right. walking this way. So they're coming and walking right by us. Yeah. But it's the parking lot. So when you camp in a parking lot, you have to just remember that. It's a parking lot. It's not your personal camping spot. You're not paying for a camping spot. <laughs> You're parking in a parking lot. So you just got to put up with a lot of things or don't park here. Or, you know. Speaking about that, are we ready to put the slide out? <laughs> oh, my god! Let me make sure we're okay. Kevin. I think that the wind Hello. is... <laughs> What's there? What is it, Punky? Hello, Punky. Hello, Punky. Come here. I think our I think the wind has finally receded a little bit. Slow down a bit. Yeah, yeah. then we can probably put our uh, slides out. We don't put our we keep we kept them in because we have an ani on each one of our slide outs and we don't want to rip them. So I think they're called toppers. Yeah, toppers. Okay. Yeah. And since we had to pull everything in to move, yeah, we just left it during the wind. Yeah. And our house is full of sand. Yes, it is. Welcome to the <laughs> desert. I am ready to get out of the desert, you yeah. guys, and we're going to do that soon. I mean, it is our first night on the road again. It is Heading indeed. North. Heading north. What? What are you? Are you having a conversation with me that I don't know? Pumpkin. Huh? Tell him. Yeah. Tell him we're going north. We're going to go put north. The slide out? We're going north. Let's go. Get us some room. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go to the beach? You want to go to the beach? Yeah. Oh, oh, She's ready oh, to go to the beach. Oh. You ready to go to the beach? Damn Skippy. <laughs> well, it will be a couple months. <laughs> We're taking it slow. You know what? If we get close, maybe the crabs and everything will be closer. Oh, anyway. you got somebody you need to reply to. I have slightly replied think... to a friendly friend that has <laughs> uh, told me how to get some crabbies. If I had to show you how to make an email. <laughs> That's work. All right, Scotty. Can I smile like this. And we just have somebody video? wants to take Scotty crabbing. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we uh, do. He's got pots. Yeah. I'm not gonna mention names because I don't know if that's okay or not. But yeah. and and I, we we have, have to make. My... I'm sorry. We had to make sure that we're going down that way though first. We're to, we're working on our itinerary. Correct. So and I still have my crawdad trap. I'm pretty oh. daggone sure. <laughs> It got retired here. I haven't been. I wonder if there was crawdads in Lake Havasu. Nah. Go, go. go. You want to jump? crawdads okay. in the Colorado River. <laughs> no, Pumpkin wants to jump. <laughs> She's going to go hide in her spot. <laughs> <laughs>